It's the morning of day two at Google I.O. 2017. Hi, I'm Timothy Jordan. I'm your friendly developer advocate on the ground here at Shoreline, and I'm going to be taking you around all the sandbox areas just like I was yesterday uh, so that you can have some of the experience as if you were here with me. So let's go play around in the accessibility tent, which is, of course, all about giving all of your users a great experience with your service. So check it out. Hi, Rob. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. So can you help me with the accessibility of my website? Absolutely. So what we're showing here is the new Audits 2.0 panel in DevTools. So Audits 2.0 is basically taking the very popular Lighthouse Chrome extension and integrating it directly into DevTools. So this will run a number of checks on your site for progressive web app stuff, performance, best practices, and especially accessibility. So All right. Well, let's see what's wrong with it. Yeah, so here we've got a page that has some form elements which are missing their associated labels. And so if you want, you can actually go and like click on these nodes right here. And that'll actually take you into the uh, elements panel. So here we're showing the new accessibility tab as well. So you can inspect all sorts of information about this node, this little input field oh, right really here. That's really cool. Yeah. But it's, it looks like it's not going to read anything. Right, so right now uh, we don't have a label for this control, so a screen reader is not going to know what to announce. So we actually do have a label element right down here. Uh, if you want, you can control click on that. Yep, and add an attribute. You can type in four equals sub dash name. Yep, hit enter. And what that does, now if you click on this input field again, there you go. Now you can see that you've associated the label with the control. It's got a nice name, and a screen reader will announce it and tell the user what they're about to interact with. That's awesome. Yeah. That was easy, Rob. Thanks. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to go look at some more stuff. Yeah. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Happy to help. All right. Let's go check out uh, the selfie stick with my friend Austin. Hey. How you doing, Austin? I'm good. So you've got a selfie stick, uh, which is designed for people that selfie sticks usually aren't well designed for. Exactly, yeah. So we have a Pixel here running uh, TalkBack, which is a native screen reader to, to Android. And we have a feature that will give feedback when it's in the camera mode to what's in the screen. Let me, let's hear what it says. Camera, two faces. Shutter button, two faces. Double tap to activate. Two Shutter button is now enabled. Photo taken. Two faces. Yeah, just took a selfie, so it's it's giving audible feedback to what's in the screen, if the face is centered, and if it's good for selfie. All right, there's one more thing that I want to check out. It's really cool, and it's right over here. Hi, Jessica. So this is a spoon for people who have, say, limited hand movement, right? And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and try and use it, if that's all right. <laughs> it's the tr the trick is to try and dump the beans out. I can't do it. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll put that down.